Oh shit, there's a bunch of ducks. I lied, I'm gonna fly over water. Look at all those ducks. Welcome to today's video, everybody. This is the second in a series of daily videos that I'm doing to teach you something about FPV and to entice you to watch the videos if you don't know, I'm giving away three bind and fly drones. That's right, I have three bind and fly drones that I'm gonna send away to the first three people that enter, that do the contest thing. Uh, if you don't know the contest, you need to go back, watch the first video, because I'm not gonna fucking explain it again. For those of you that did enter, you did it wrong. I don't know if I explained it well, but each day there's gonna be a word. I don't want you to email me the word each day. You wait till Friday. Wait till you watch the final video on Friday and then the first three people to email me all five words in one email. I don't want, don't email me. Every day you see a word, don't email me that word. That's not how it works. A lot of you have done that already. On Friday, once you see the fifth word, first three people to email me, all five words at the same time are gonna win the drones. That, that's how it works, okay. So yesterday's video in the five video series was showing you how to do a super cool freestyle trick that I invented, the body spin. The bo I said body roll, but I like body flip a lot better. It's just called the body flip, the bot flip. No, bot flip, fuck. The last video is not the body, it's just the bot flip. We're calling it the bot flip, that sounds way better. So to switch gears on that, today we're gonna be doing some micro cinematic flying. I don't know if you know, but I have a second channel, Bot Grinder 2, where I do more cinematic flying and I do little shorts clips and dumb shit like that. Just things that I don't want on my main channel, you know? But the drone that I mainly use on that is this. This is my three inch, nope, focus. This is my three inch BQE rip squeak. It has a rush stack, 1104 fucking Zing motors, although you should probably have 13 or 1404. This is just all that I had. But it has a naked GoPro 9. That's the important part. This thing, this is a fucking beast of a micro cinematic rig. Look at the spinny footage. That makes it look way fucking cool, right? The majority of my little cinematic footage that I do, I do on this little three inch rip squeak. And it's a pretty simple process. You know, you just go find a spot, come home, put it in real steady, put it in fucking Premiere, put some LUTs on it, the Johnny FPV LUTs, Bach Grinder saves you 15%, and boom, you got yourself a fucking cinematic masterpiece. The only thing left, add some audio. You can audio engineer it and do little wind noises and bird tweets like I do, or just find some music that you want to use or whatever. Let's find out. We're going to make one today, and we'll see. I'll show you my entire process. I'm running out of breath. I'll show you my entire process today of making a micro cinematic video. And then I wanna see what you can do. I wanna see you go out there and fucking make one because they're cool to watch, you know? Freestyle's fucking sick, but there's something really nice about cinematic flying, just cruising around, Not your quad's not gonna break, basically. You can just cruise and make a really pretty video, all right? So that's what we're doing today, yeah. Whoa. The first thing you wanna do when you're making your super sweet cinematic masterpiece is decide on a place to go. I'm gonna go to a park right next to my house. And since my girlfriend needs a car today, I'm gonna be riding my super sweet fixed gear that I don't fucking ride enough. And since I don't ride enough, I don't wanna carry my camera and ride my bicycle, so we're switching to fucking GoPro. Boom, head mounted GoPro, ready to go, look at that. And we'll ride my bike all, all kinds of fucking crazy. So we're gonna leave this at the house just for a second. We're gonna go and we're gonna film some shit and then come back to the house. Yeah. All right, back to vlog cam. All right, here we are. This is where I chose to go. This is Bartram Gardens. This is actually North America's oldest botanical garden, I think, something like that. It's just been here since like 17, 1800s in Philadelphia. It's fucking nuts, but it is like this beautiful botanical garden with like a shit ton of different species of plants and flowers and all that stuff. Like, you know, I'm into that shit, not hardcore. I just think it's pretty cool. I appreciate nature dog. I haven't really thought out this video how I'm gonna show you i don't really want to spoil the footage but i want to show me flying so i don't know here i'm just going to do some rips show you the spots i'm going to do then we're going to go home and then i'll show you all the footage and how i edit it and real steady and color grade and make it all fucking beautiful and everything so first clip these roofs roofs <laughs> all right that went really well that actually went pretty decent i hit a couple trees not too bad we got some footage here of the roof and of the little fucking pathway thingy that's probably not going to come out that great, you'll see. But now I'm going to come over here to the actual like garden parts. We're going to fly this little fucking square. Oh god, there's somebody watching me vlog now. A little squarey thing. And you know, you need little squarey things, little circle things to fly through and make shit look good. So head on over here to this little squarey thing. Do some more flying through it. <laughs> All 
All right, cool. That went pretty well. We got some footage of some squarey things. I went underneath like a little playground and shit. We definitely got some footage ooh, for the cinematic masterpiece, but come on bike. But I feel like I need one more shot. So I'm gonna walk over here. There's some water and shit. I'm not gonna fly over the fucking water, but I'm gonna walk towards it. I'm gonna find one more little spot to rip around. And we're gonna go home and edit this. Let's go. Oh shit, there's a bunch of ducks. I lied, I'm gonna fly over water. Look at all those ducks. All right, duck footage incoming. <laughs> Okay, I got some beautiful footage of these fucking ducks. Now let's go home and make this a badass video. As you see, these are rough. Now I just showed you the rough cuts from when I was flying around. We're gonna go home, we're gonna real estate it, we're gonna put it in Premiere, put some LUTs on that shit, and you're gonna see a huge difference between this raw footage and the final product. It's gonna be fucking badass. Oh shit, I just checked the time and I am running late. Why did I decide to do daily videos? Daily videos was a horrible fucking idea. This is too much pressure. Okay. We have the raw footage. I'm gonna put it in the computer. We're gonna real steady it, color grade it, put it in Premiere, add some music to it, and make it look really pretty. So come on, join me. Let's jump up, jump into the, jump up. Let's jump into the computer and get editing. Okay, welcome to inside of my computer, everybody. Obviously, the first thing you're gonna do is transfer your files. I always like to make separate folders. I always like to make separate folders for each video that I do. Here, I'll show you. This is, if you back up, this is my raw footage folder i put all the raw footage from the day from all my videos in here to keep nice track them and everything and then i transfer them to an external so that they can be held on to forever by me and never looked at again so this folder is cinematic masterpiece we're gonna wait for these fucking folders to uh these files to transfer this is the perfect time to get high while you're waiting for your shit now what we're about to be doing is highly creative we're about to be jumping in and editing a cinematic masterpiece so while your files are transferring i highly recommend doing a fucking big ass dab to get in the mood Once your files are transferred and you're sufficiently stoned, go ahead and open up Real Steady. Now, Real Steady costs some money. You can use Gyroflow. That's an open source one. Bardwell just did a video on that. That's really good. But uh, I, so I bought this when the dudes made it. Two dudes made Real Steady. Now it's owned by GoPro. So if you don't want to pay for it, there's probably no moral obligation to pay for it because GoPro is a huge company with a lot of money. What just happened to that light? All right, now that I have Real Steady opened up, I'm going to select each one of my clips and I'm going to import them. I'm going to show you how to do the settings on one of them. And these are going to be the same settings that I do to all of my clips. Do you see that light flickering? Stop. Okay, go ahead and let Real Steady import the first clip. And before it does anything, come in here to the settings, unlink this link with smoothness, undo that. You're going to do low and slow. Trust me. Trust me, the default settings suck. You think you want more stabilization, you don't. You want low smoothness and you want slow cropping speed. Low and slow, just remember that. Low and slow, you want that shit. Hit okay, let it do its fucking thing, render that shit out, and we're gonna move on to the next clip. That's what you do for every single clip. Once you have all your clips done, then you import everything into Premiere. So let's do that now. All right, hours later, once you have all your uh, real steady clips good to go, see that, how they say smooth next to them? That means you got the real steady ones good to go. You can start importing these into Premiere. And what you do in Premiere is you just open Premiere. Here's what I like to do. This is how I like to do everything. Because whatever the first clip is that you put on your timeline is what it's going to be, is what your timeline is going to be, right? So what I like to do is I just open it up and then I come over and I know I like to do 4K 30 frames a second. So I have a 4K 30 frames a second clip, any clip at all. I drop that on the timeline and that makes the timeline 4K 30, right? So that that's, it's arbitrary. Whatever clip you want to put on there, it doesn't fucking matter. So I'm going to grab my first smooth clip and I'm going to put that on the timeline. You can do this whatever way you want. You know what I mean? I usually just put it on there and I delete the first clip that I brought on. The first clip is only to set the timeline at 4K 30 or whatever you want to set it at. Once I have my timeline good to go, I generally like to import one clip at a time. Some people will drag everything in over there and just select it from there. I just leave it in a folder on my desktop and bring in one at a time. So once I have it in Premiere, I'm going to start heading over here to look at this footage i'm going to review it i'm not going to show you every single clip that i review but what i do is i bring it in here and then i play it see how it's in the graphics mode i actually like to be in assembly excuse me i like to review the clips on the timeline not in like vlc or anything so this is looking good what i want to do is kind of have a start and a finish this looks like a good start where i come in to the gate and then i go over the trees this is a good shot of the roof right there okay fucking beautiful nice this is the opening shot Shot one, good to go. All right, the next shot we got is of this little like garden entryway thing or whatever. I was having trouble getting it smooth. I was having trouble getting like a real smooth line in here because whatever fucking reason, but I'm gonna try to find a section in here that looks halfway decent and that's gonna be the next part of the video. So I'll be back 
with part three after I find a halfway smooth section of this. Actually, you know what? I'm cutting. I'm cutting all this out. This is bad. I've I thought maybe I could make this work, but the little garden section part is not very good. Like I hit the ground. I go too fast. This is look. This isn't very cinematic. This is just kind of like bad flying. So okay, we're skipping that little part. The next clip we got is of the uh, the squarey things. You know, I was saying you got I got some squarey shit to go through. I think we can make up for the footage with the squarey thing from what I did not get uh, from that little trail thing or whatever this stuff should be pretty good that car came in there yeah i can have a little bit of this van chase so i'd probably probably like start it right here and then i'll go through the footage and i'll have um go through the little holes and those cool things right all right next scene and then for the last scene we got my favorite the fucking ducks or geese or whatever they are the giant fucking ducks aka the geese i hate flying over water but i was like you know what it's gonna look really nice so fuck it i may as well do it i'm stoked for this one I'm probably going to start this clip, yeah, back by the, um, just a little bit back by the water. Now, here's an interesting thing. Do you see these little, do you see these white things in the corner? That's part of the ND filter. Usually, when you run it through real steady, it'll get rid of all of it, but it looks like there's a little bit on this one. So, for this clip, I'm just going to fucking, meh, I'm just going to pull it in a little bit right there, make sure that looks okay. Yeah, that looks just fine. Like, you can still see a tiny little bit of it, but it's not going to fucking matter, whatever. So, in between these clips, too, since this is the last clip I'm going to show you, uh, I like to have a little transition in between my clips. So, what I like to do, we're going to go to effects. I like to do the dip. You just go up to effects, and you type dip, and there's a white and a black. I'm going to use white, because I think the white one looks more cinematic. Some people will say black looks more cinematic, but what that's going to give you is that little white thing in between your uh, your clips there, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to clean this up with uh, the duck clip, and I'll show you how I color this shit, and we're going to have ourselves one nice little two-minute cinematic video or something. Hell yeah. You excited? I'm excited. Thanks for coming along on this adventure. Now that you got your little clips laid out and you got your transitions, it's time for the fun part. I, I enjoy doing color grading, and I do it really easy, all right? It's, you just get the Johnny Lutz. You just get the damn Johnny FPV Lutz, get the freaking Cobra one, boom. It's This is like the Cobra already done for you. You're not really supposed to do anything else, which when you do Lutz, you're supposed to do a lot. But for me, I don't do all that. I just slap on, I'd slap on this Cobra Lutz. Now, it looks like this is a little dark. I was using the ND filter and it was a little dark out. So I'm going to up that exposure just a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because then it looks like shit. But this actually, yeah, this looks really good. This looks nice and cinematic. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm just going to go to these other ones. And I'm going to paste the attributes, which is these LUTs. So now I don't have to go through them one by one. But I do like to check them because I did up that exposure on that one clip. And the lighting's not the same on all of them like this. That might be that might be a little blown out for that. So I'm gonna grab the exposure, tone it down just a little bit. I would like them to match. You know what I mean? You don't want one blown out, which we're probably gonna get one blown out, one not blown out, like a decent color. The ducks look okay. That looks that looks fucking beautiful, man. That looks so cinematic. All right. And the the final duck clip. Yeah, we can probably just leave that right there. Good to go. That's how you color grade. It can be really easy. You can put a lot more work into it and make it look a lot better, but I think this is going to look just fine. So now you pick music. Everybody asks me, how do I find my music? I just go to YouTube. I find music that I like. I have artists on Spotify I like. I use a suggested thing. I don't care about copyright stuff. I'm not going to get a strike. The only thing that happens on my videos is I can't monetize. I don't make any money off the ad revenue at all. On my videos, I rely 100% on Patreon to make money off my fucking videos, so... Yeah, become a patron because I make zero dollars off making videos. Since this is a cinematic video, I'm not going to use some like Sparkmaster tape, baller fucking stuff. You know what I mean? I want to try to find something a little, a little more flowy for it. And this process usually takes me a long fucking time. So we're going to just skip to the next scene when I have found my music. And I want to show you this video. In fact, that'll be the next scene. Everything's good to go except for the music. I'm going to export this. Oh, let me show you how I export it. Shit. Okay, so I totally use Sparkmaster tape. I don't think this song fits the edit like the best, but it definitely works. I just want to show you my export settings here because some people have questions about that so once you have your music your color you have everything to go you go export that shit you head on over here oh nope you head on over here and then i use the gopro or the the youtube 4k this one i use the ultra youtube 4k hd freaking setting you name your thing cinematic masterpiece spelled incorrectly of course and that's it that's all you do i, I do that i i use the YouTube 4K Ultra HD setting, I rename my thing, and then I export. Boom, we're good to go. You ready to export? Let's export this motherfucker. Oh, it's done. Oh, God. Good. I was fucking... Okay. 
Here we go. All right, everybody. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Here we go. The, you, you went along for the trip. You helped me make this somehow. Let's watch the cinematic masterpiece that we all made together. Bachgrinder presents Bartram Gardens. We shall Seven cops with their knees on his back and they still had to put the metal handcuffs on him. Seven times did he plead, couldn't breathe, but they still said he had a fucking handgun on him. The chance now was second to none if the man had no gun and they shot the man down. We wouldn't read nothing about it in papers unless the man ain't really been like a wolf. Life is a motherfucking bitch and I ain't about to change that shit. But I'm gonna make an honest promise, make a billion dollars, I'm about to break change real quick. It's all going wrong. We shall uh, die. Now smart's over, man. Yeah, we die, but we silent again. And they ask when the violence will end. Man, it's hard to look past to that pile of my friends. And I can rent you a band. Cop tickets first class with a friend. But I bet your bitch ass still never won't do. Where the fuck I don't live in my best. How about that, huh? Did you enjoy that? How about that cinematic masterpiece? Honestly, like I would have, I would have done a little bit shorter clips of each thing if I was making this like a legit, just cinematic video that I want to put out. But I wanted you to see how I'm my process, how I make these. You can do these too. It's really easy. Just get a naked GoPro, a fucking micro drone. Some real, God, it doesn't sound easy. You need a lot of shit. Most of this can be had fairly cheap though, for real. Thank you so much for watching uh, part two in my daily videos. I have a brand new one coming out tomorrow, so if you're not subscribed, press the stupid subscribe button. Big old shout out to my top tier Say My Name patrons this month, Volley. Uh, as always, shout out to my top tier patrons. That's the Say My Name level. But if you want me to say your name tomorrow, sign up today and just cancel, and I'll say it tomorrow. Shout out to Volleytronics, Mikey FPV, Billy Motherfucking Hackett, StuntStrat76, and FPVExchange.com, my current top tier patrons. I'll be doing a full patron shout out after these dailies where I'll show like everybody that's a patron all 600 yeah because I love you make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video did you find the secret word of the day remember I'm doing the contest for a bind and fly quad three of them go back and watch yesterday's video if you don't know what I'm talking about if you do know what I'm talking about I hope you found the word of today in today's video good luck to everybody see you next time I promise tomorrow will be better okay but, oh no wait whoa hey after I do my five videos in a row, Cricket FPV is doing five videos in a row. I just talked to him. Forgot to say that. So make sure you subscribe to Cricket's channel for his five videos after my five videos. Okay, bye. Wow! Bunch of ducks, I lied, I'm gonna fly over water.